Hello students. Now this is the question number two present in the exercise two point two, which says find the product by suitable reality. Now let me give you an example how to solve these type of questions. Example: There is a number two into eight into five. Let's take these to be small numbers. So if we have to calculate on these three numbers, then we should write it like eight into two into five. Five twos are ten. This means eight into ten, which gives us eighty. Therefore, our calculation became easy. So, in the first part, we should write it like two into fifty into one thousand seven hundred and sixty-eight. So, this will be hundred. So, this the answer will be hundred into one seven six eight, which will be One seven six eight zero zero. Okay. In the second part, it is four into hundred and sixty six into twenty five. So you must be knowing the tables. That is, we should write it like twenty five into four into one hundred and sixty six. So twenty five fours are hundred into one sixty six. That gives us. One double six double zero. So this is the second answer. In the third one, it is eight into two ninety one into one hundred and twenty five. So you must not be knowing the table of one hundred and twenty five. So we can break it in the multiples of five, which means five into twenty five in the place of one twenty five into two hundred and ninety one into eight. So twenty five into eight. Will give us two hundred. So this will be two hundred five as it is, and two ninety one as it is. So five to the ten means one thousand into two ninety one, which will give you two nine one triple zero. This is the third answer. In the fourth part, it is six twenty-five into sixteen into two seventy-nine. So you can break in the multiples of five again. Or if you know the table of twenty-five, in the table of twenty-five. So this will be twenty-five into twenty-five because six twenty-five is the square of twenty-five. Then four is the square of six. Sixteen is the square of four. So four into four and then two seventy-nine. So as we all know, twenty-five fours are hundred. Twenty-five fours are These two will make one hundred, and these two will make another hundred. So this will be hundred into hundred into two hundred and seventy-nine, which will give you two seven nine into ten to the power four, because the it is containing four zeros, so ten to the power four. And in the last question. We can solve it like two eighty five multiplied by three hundred. There is in, any trick to solve this, so we'll multiply two eighty five with three, and then with two zeros. So it will give us eight five five zero zero. This is the fifth part answer. This is the answer to the fourth part, and this is the answer to the fifth part. Now the last part. That is the sixth part. In this part, it is one twenty five multiplied by forty multiplied by eight multiplied by twenty five. To make it easy, we should write it in the multiple of five. Means five into twenty five into four into ten into eight into twenty five. This will make our calculation easy. So first of all, we do keep it as it is. Twenty five fours are Hundred multiply by ten gives us thousand. Multiply by eight, multiply by twenty-five. So this will be eight into five forty. So forty multiply by one thousand multiply by twenty-five. Twenty-five fours are hundred and one more zero, which means thousand into thousand. Three zeros here, three zeros here. The answer will be ten to the power 
6, which is the required answer of the 6th part. So this is how we can make a calculation easy. Thank you very much.